The following contest is a singles match with a 15 minute time limit. Introducing first. Now here is something that could quite plausibly steal the show and that is saying something on a card as stacked as this tonight but for my money both of these guys must be among the very best in British wrestling including this man, the professional. Making his way to the ring from East Riding of Yorkshire, the professional, Nathan Cruz. And one of the reasons that he's called the professional is because Nathan Cruz has been a full-time professional wrestler for, I believe, over a decade now, getting in the repetitions every single day. There is not an experience in the ring that he has not been in. He has, he's still relatively young as well for his experience level. He's a dangerous opponent against anyone in any country, in any promotion. Now, uh, speaking to Nathan Cruz earlier on our, with an interview for our social media channels, you may have seen that online, and, and Cruz saying he's, he's been wrestling 13 years, but it was 15 years ago that he first saw an all-star wrestling show where Dean Allmark was the star of the show. So, at least in the context of British wrestling, Dean Allmark was a role model, a mentor, a hero of sorts for Nathan Cruz. But no doubt Cruz believes that he has overtaken Allmark and he is the premier professional wrestler in this country. Working those camps night after night is seen as a rite of passage in British wrestling. And you're looking at two of the people in this contest who embody that philosophy. But you're very right, Nathan feels, and you know, perhaps for good reason, that he is one of, if not one of the best wrestlers in the United Kingdom. And this will be, I mean, can he, with that image of seeing that match in his childhood, can he overcome that? And introducing his opponent. His way to the ring from Wirral by a Stoke on Trent, Dean Allmark! Dean Allmark will be hoping for a happier return to WrestleGate Pro than the last time he was here at Lion Spirit back in May when he lost to Danny Duggan in very controversial circumstances. So if he's hoping for an opponent who's any less underhanded in Nathan Cruz, then he may be disappointed. Well, perhaps he might have an answer because Dean Almark is one of the smoothest wrestlers, dare say, in the world today. Also, like Nathan, getting night after night repetitions, a true professional, world traveled as well, with successful tours to Japan and more. You're looking at two of the best right here. Hey, let's, let's just make one thing clear. As long as I've got this microphone in my hand, my voice is always going to be louder than yours. So I suggest you keep your mouth shut. You know something, Dean? This isn't about these dibs here. It's about you. See, when I was growing up, I used to go to the whole city hall and watch professional wrestling. And the professional that I aspire to become was you. Now, unlike how much I simply can't stand these pathetic little people, I have got nothing but the utmost respect for you. But for the young lions that are here tonight in the back, I hope you're gonna take close attention to this contest right here. Get your notepads out, because what I'm going to do right now is prove that why I am now the top professional in the UK. I don't need to rely on anything else tonight, Dean. I'm gonna beat you fair and square because the only thing I need to rely on tonight is the fact that I am Nathan Cruz. Oh, there we are, you heard it from the horse's mouth, so to speak. Nathan Cruz very much emphasizing the, the 
point we were speculating about a few moments ago, Joe. He does believe he has surpassed Dean Allmark, and he needed to prove it here. Absolutely, and if you truly believe that you're the best, then you should be able to beat anyone anytime. And that's exactly what Nathan is saying. And you know, I, I, have to, I have to commend that. You need to have that confidence going into these situations. Otherwise, you've got no chance. You know, when you're panicking, you don't think you can do something, the adrenaline's going, the gas tank empties. Ooh. You need that last confidence. Hey, look at that. That's interesting. You don't often see a handshake from Nathan Cruz. Dean Allmark, no problem there. He's a gentleman, a consummate sportsman, but Cruz just does show you, I think, the level of respect that Cruz has for Dean Allmark. And as you heard from his words a few moments ago on the microphone, there are very few people, including these fans, who he does respect. But here's the thing, nostalgia is a powerful thing, and I think that's what's going on for Nathan Cruz right now. This has reminded him of seeing Dean Olmark at Hull City Hall when he was a kid. That kind of, that's, like I say, it's a powerful thing. It can really change up your headspace. But let's see if Nathan can continue this calm confidence and keep up with his former idol too strong. Well, and certainly a mentor. I mean, the, these guys wrestled for the first time back in 2010, so that's, that's nine years ago now when Cruz, as he says, was, uh, and you mentioned earlier, was on the camps. And they have wrestled many, many times, but not for several years now. And obviously in that time, Cruz, Cruz will tell you himself, he has elevated himself even further than he was a few years ago. And, and he just believes he's better than Allmark now. And I mean, you know, it's absolutely fair to say that Nathan has proved himself. He's well, he's well traveled as well. You know, he's had trips to the States. But again, he's you know, thousands of matches. But the truth is, it's not like Dean Allmark sat at home. You know, he's been continuing as well. But look at that. Yeah, very, suddenly from nowhere. Very innovative uh, pinfall there. But yeah, Dean Allmark hasn't exactly been sent at home. He's been going to Japan and other territories like that. He's, he's always evolving his craft. One of the more underrated talent I think in British wrestling in the past two decades is Dean Allmark doesn't, absolutely doesn't always get the same accolades that some of his peers get but as you're seeing here he is more than able to hang with the best in Britain absolutely if you watch a Dean Allmark match you know there's only people that haven't seen him wrestle live that, that maybe don't give him the credit he deserves Allmark is challenging Cruz it looks like to a test of strength in very quickly no, 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 no. changes plans and Cruz gets taken down. Oh, not going to wrench away at that hand and bend those fingers backwards. Oh my God, snaps the fingers. Makes you wince just to hear it. The referee is asking Allmark, or asking Cruz, I should say, whether he gives up and Cruz not yet, but he must be in agony. It's a unique blend of technique and aggression because he's one of the smoothest wrestlers you've ever seen, but you heard the snap on those fingers as well. Cruz finally backs him into the rope and the variation of the arm drag takes him away. Ulmark goes straight back on him for the headbutt into the midsection, followed by the uppercut and the knee in response from the professional. Professional is up the ante here with a knee strike to the face. Cruz went in for the shoulder block, no one there. Now Allmark playing some games. Headstand on the top turnbuckle. Pushes Cruz away. Cruz got frustrated. You know, it's what Allmark is trying to do here, get inside the head of Nathan Cruz. With some success it looks like, but Tilton well head scissors by Dean Allmark. Allmark off the top rope, great agility from Allmark. And out goes Cruz. Dean Allmark is very adept at creating traps and frustrating you to the point where you put yourself in them. And that's why Nathan's taking a little second on the outside to realize that maybe that nostalgia we were talking about earlier, maybe that's clouding his judgment a little bit. Maybe he needs to go back and really think about what made him successful as a professional wrestler. What's he going to do to keep up and even get a step ahead of Dean Allmark? Cruz has had something of a charmed life in WrestleGate Pro so far. He has yet to taste defeat. Tag team match with Lucas Steele at Lion Spirit. More recently beat Bobby Guns of WXW, of course, at the Emerald Grand Prix in July. So Cruz is not lacking in confidence, but then he never is. A little bit of their respect shown there as well. You get the usual for Cruz. Once again, we're not going to challenge Cruz to rock up those knuckles. Here we go. This time we do get the test of strength. And 
Dean Allmark. Swept backwards, you see the position of Drews's left foot tripping the leg. Allmark is bridging to stop his shoulders from going on the canvas for a pinning predicament. And this is smart strategy because Dean is very technical, as you just saw from that sweep there. Trying to force Cruz's shoulders down, but Cruz with the power out. Now he bridges up. I feel the more that Nathan can make this about strength, the more likely he is to get an advantage here. Big pressure on that bridge on the neck with Allmark by putting all of his body weight on top of Cruz. By pro wrestlers train those muscles around the neck so hard oh, it's a monkey flip but Allmark lands on his feet sweeps the leg does Cruz Allmark not letting himself stay on the canvas even for a second here but he might have to here because Cruz is down and that time gets a two count so Cruz I think will take something from that he is getting starting to get a little bit closer as you can see there uh, Dean Allmark again very smooth very fancy if you will but Cruz very simple there just went to the waist lock and rolled up into a pin. Again, it doesn't need to be too fancy to win. This is the sport of professional wrestling. It's about pinning your opponent's shoulders to the mat. And Nathan Cruz can use his strength and momentum to do that. We are back to square one. And once more, these two are going to challenge each other, middle of the ring. And this is just a testament exactly to what we were talking about, about how well these two know each other and how well matched they are. Beautiful inside take down there grounded in judo that one there but Nathan is, uh, looked like it was kind of into a pin there but here we go Dean Omar back into the submission feels like he has an answer for every counter counter for counter the reversal for every reversal does Dean Omar can he rock it back and forth just pressuring those arms pushing those shoulder blades together not, not only does this hurt but it also demoralizes the opponent you know it's basically saying I've got you tied up Certainly has here as well now because he's got the legs tied up underneath his his own body weight and now pushing back those arms. How do you get out of this, Jerry? This kind of position. To be honest, it's it's the the key advice that's never helpful, which is don't put yourself in that position. You are all locked up there. The only the only way to do it is like Nathan just did there by powering out or getting yourself to the rope. But that is a position you do not want to end up in. You can see both of these guys are trying to gasp for air a little more. The relentless intensity of this match starting to take its toll it will be interesting to see as the the match continues who will have the superior cardio here will it be the experience of Allmark or will it be the the youth of, of Cruz takes the left leg down bending that knee by force to get Cruz into a more compromised position from this angle it looks a little bit like a side head chancery there classic British hold for hold wrestling Dean Allmark would have been around some of the greats of the late world of sport era, of course. He's very much a student of the traditional British style, but that, could, that can be said of Cruz as well. Yeah. Cruz is a student of the game. But that uh, punch to the face from Cruz there was perhaps not part of that British uh, moveset, if you will, there. But this certainly is. Allmark sitting down, got the shoulders on the mat for Cruz, but Cruz kicked out emphatically on two. Ahead though from Allmark. Allmark again will look for a pin. He's got him all tied up. Cruz counters. Allmark gets the legs into a sunset flip position. These two exchanging pin after pin. Can either of them keep the other down for the full three seconds? You just get a series of one counts now. This is must be making those two dizzy. Apart from anything else, how many pins was that? Be Ten or twelve attempts each in that little exchange. Both men seem compromised here, but Cruz is the first to grab the arm. Oh, but Omar follows up with a brutal kick to the side of the head. And let me tell you, a kick to the temple from Dean Omar is going to make you question whether this is for you. And Cruz is lucky to be conscious at the moment after that impact, I think. But speaking of impacts, there's one of his own on, on Allmark. Cruz will look for the show stolen. Allmark knows it's coming, wriggles his way free, sends Cruz to the ropes, kick right into the jaw. And that's going to take a lot of both competitors there. Cruz taking more damage to the head with those kicks, but make the mistake when Cruz throws him up into the air like that and he lands flat on the mat. That is just going to make all of the wind, all the air that you have escape your lungs and leave you gasping from air. Let's see if that has an effect moving forward. The crowd certainly appreciative of the effort. 
from both gentlemen here in this contest. Always a raucous crowd here at WrestleGate in Nottingham, and they are certainly enjoying this one as well they should be, because these are two masters of their craft at work, as Allmark and Cruz on their knees now, still laying into each other. Very hard forearm shots there. Rolled it straight to the face. Uppercut. Which is meant by Omar. He just knew it. there was going to be an uppercut from one, you get one from the other. This is very much a game of one upmanship, and I don't know, they could go all night. Omar, it looks like getting the upper hand. It's shoved away by Cruz, and Cruz eats the boot of Omar. Ran right into that one, did Nathan Cruz. Cruz once again reeling, doesn't know where he is, but had enough wherewithal to get the elbow up into the face of Allmark. Takes the legs away though. And Cruz has got a uh, distinct a problem here. Unique yes. predicament right now. Double foot stop right between the shoulders from Allmark. Allmark, the moonsault picture perfect. Side press by Dean Allmark, and the shoulder goes up to keep Nathan Cruz alive. Experience of Dean Olmark there, you saw with that cover, it was two arms on one, and then the legs pressuring the other arm as well. That, that takes a lot of effort for Cruz to kick out in that scenario. Beautiful combination of moves there. Olmark headed up to the top turnbuckle. Took a little while to get there, and Cruz, in the end, saw him, knocks him off balance. It's Olmark's turn to be in a odd position, but eventually falls to the canvas. That's very smart from Cruz. Doesn't take a whole lot of energy to lean on the ropes and make your opponent fall. Very efficient there. Looking for the smile splash, I think, was all marked there, but Cruz counter with the backdrop. And now he went for the show stolen a second time, and he nails it. Cruz nails it. The show stolen. Leg hooked. Nathan Cruz. And Allmark kicks out on two. When an opponent kicks out of the show stolen, that is really going to affect the confidence of Nathan Cruz. He's now going to question what has he got to do? What was he going to do next? Well, Cruz going to have to think quickly because already both men back up to their feet. All might now be in position on the top turnbuckle. Cruz looks like he's going to gamble here. High risk for Nathan Cruz if he's looking for what I think he is. Cruz is planting those legs exactly where he wants them. Well, well, the, Allmark needs to be careful, he doesn't fall off here. This, I guess this makes sense from Cruz, you know, if you hit the show stolen, it doesn't work. You need to elevate yourself even further, but... So he's going for a top rope. Oh, Allmark escaped! Cruz gets back up onto the top. He's taken by surprise by that, and now Cruz gets his legs swept away by Allmark. Allmark hangs him upside down, Cruz completely helpless. Dean Allmark can take his sweet time here. Allmark! Cruz, push up, dodged Allmark. That was smart from Nathan Cruz. Allmark catches him. How many times has he caught him in the head with those kicks? Absolutely. Had him in a very vulnerable tree wall position there. Cruz got out by another kick to the face. It just seems like Dean Allmark's experience leads him to, to almost know what's coming before it does. And here, yeah. he, come, here he comes from the top. Of wow. Leg drop right across the throat of Cruz. That's got to do it. Surely, no, no. Nathan Cruz again kicks out. And that, whatever you think of Cruz personally, is impressive. To be able to kick out from a top rope leg drop across the throat like that, really quite something. Allmark gonna maybe look for that smiles clash. Once again, Cruz. Count on oh, Cruz, cross face. The cross face from Nathan Cruz, right in the middle of the ring. I'm not sure if Dean Allmark has any means of reaching the ropes here. Allmark in trouble trying to extend that right leg towards the bottom rope. I'm not sure if he's close enough. He's also trying to free that hand. If you look at the hand that's trapped Nathan's leg, he's trying to free it over into the cover. The shoulders down. Oh. Oh, but Cruz gets it back, back in into it. the hold. Back into the hold. Cruz says a tap out, tap out, tap out. Nathan Cruz the, the winner. winner of this match by submission, Nathan Cruz. Well, Dean Allmark did everything he could to find a way out of that cross face, but once Nathan Cruz has got you locked in, it is extremely difficult 
to find a way out, and ultimately, Dean Allmark could not. Very, very impressive performance from both athletes. As you saw there, it didn't need to be fancy. It was an efficient transition into that cross face. Absolute brutal maneuver, which torques the neck right back of your opponent. And no disrespect to Dean Allmark, if you're in that situation for too long, that can be a career ender. You need to think about your long-term health, your career, and that's what Dean Allmark did. No shame in tapping out to the show stealer Nathan Cruz there. Dean Allmark will be more than disappointed to have lost to someone he considers one of his main rivals, Nathan Cruz, who remains undefeated in WrestleGate Pro, the professional, putting forth what was ultimately a very professional performance against a tough, tough opponent. Nathan Cruz, your winner.